Morning everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're, uh, we're having a revamp, so we're here in the uh, not so sunny Lancashire this morning. Yeah, we're, um, we're going to be focusing on wildlife photography and the art that I create from my photographs. Uh, so the channel is going to focus on, we're going to do some product reviews, we're going to do field craft, we're going to do hide making, uh, concealment, all sorts really, all the all the skills that are necessary to become an half decent wildlife photographer because it's um, it's tough, you know, it's not easy, it's, uh, it's not just a case of picking up your camera and uh, clicking away, you've got to put a bit of, uh, bit of graft into it and a bit of work and a bit of thought uh, and time as well, uh, it's you know, you can be lucky, you can be wandering around and you can just get that fantastic shot and, you know, you're just wandering along but it doesn't usually happen that way. If you put the time and the effort in, uh, you get the rewards. So that's what we're going to do, that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, all aspects of wildlife photography, as much as I know. I mean, I'm, I'm not a professional photographer by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I've been... I've been probably, you know, for the last couple of years I've been doing it more seriously, so I've got myself some decent gear, I mean it's always nice to have, have the best in it, but uh, I don't think, I don't think gear is that big a factor really, I mean you obviously need, you know, semi-decent stuff, but um, you know, you don't have to be spending thousands and thousands of pounds on lenses and stuff, it's more down to, uh, to the techniques and the skills that you adopt and uh, you know trying to get trying to get close really to the to the subject matter so like I said I, I'm not a professional wildlife photographer but you know I've had some pretty decent results um, and more to do with with knowing your subjects as well and knowing how they, they act and it's about observation and it's it's spending time out there I mean I speak to people and they say oh I've never I've never seen a kingfisher sat on a perch and I've never seen this and I've never seen that but people are always they're always in a bit of a rush really. I mean if you if you sit down, you know, get a get a brew, get some bagging and sit under a tree where you've <laughs> where you might have seen a kingfisher flashing past and just sit there for a couple of hours and you know enjoy enjoy the uh, where you are and and if you sit there for long enough you'll things come to you. You'll uh, you'll see so much more if you just slow everything down, and um, you know, take a, get a decent pair of binoculars and sit there in a little notepad, and, and you know that's what I tend to do. I take notes, and uh, you know, if kingfishers are flashing up and down the river, um, I'll I'll put down you know how long it is between them, you know, going from one point to another, and you start to get a picture in your head, and uh, you know, you learn the habits and where they're landing and. And this, that, and the other, and then you can you can adopt all that and put that into your you know strategy for maybe putting some perches out for them, uh, you know. So yeah, it's it's all about observation and putting the time and the effort into it. So that's uh, yeah, that's what we're going to try and uh, try and show you. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good. Another thing is you don't have to go far either. I mean. I'm literally probably a quarter of a mile from my house and we're in a little little paddock area on the edge of a woodland and uh, I see all sorts down here. I mean, the thing is the motorway, you can probably hear it to be honest, motorway is about 300 yards over that field, M6, and it's proper busy. But I've, I've had some great pictures of jays and raw deer, uh, we get buzzards, we get buzzards landing on this this fence line here um, you know we're on the edge of this woodland so I've I've actually got a hide set up over there so we'll that'll be another video we'll go into how we made the hide and I've also got um, got some perches set out and you know feeding stations so what I'm doing I'm just I'm just attracting the uh, the birds into an area and then I'm getting me me perches set up and I've had some you know pretty successful stuff really but uh, yeah, so that's that's going to be another video and uh, how we set 
set it up and the you know camera settings we use so yeah I'm looking forward to it so stick with us